Hi everyone, it's Miss Bowie. Uh, I'm here with your art lesson. I know that these are difficult times where you guys might be feeling a little cooped up at home. Um, I'm personally ready to go back uh, to school as well. And you might be very happy at home, which is fine. Uh, but today we're going to go ahead and we're going to review the elements of art. So the elements of art are the basis for everything that we do. And that's, that's how art is created. So we're going to review the seven elements of art. And you're going to create a little mini anger chart at home as well. So if you want to create it along with me, that's fine. If you want to wait until the very end, that's great as well. But your assignment will be, part of your assignment will be to create an Elements of Art anchor chart. And I want it to be neat. I want it to, it doesn't have to look exactly like mine, but it does have to express the Elements of Art. So I, um, the first few I remember very easily because it's, um, color and shape and line, which is what I try to teach you guys in kindergarten through uh, second grade. So hopefully you guys remember that. So color. And if you don't have markers or if you don't have crayons at home, that's fine. Um, you could actually do all of this with a pencil or a pen. Um, the color will be a little difficult, but you can, as long as you just, just move on to a different one. So the first one is color, and then the second one is, or another one, this doesn't have to be the necessary order, but the other one is shape. And for shape, what I like to do is just a few different shapes. So I have a triangle there. Purple, square, and again, yours does not have to look like mine, but as long as you guys are um, showing different shapes, it can be an octagon, you can get as creative as you'd like, and I'm going to do a star, last one, let's do a different color, let's do some yellow. Okay, so color, shape, another one is line. And there's many different types of lines. We learned about that as well in, um, I think, second grade. And another one is form. So this one... Form. So form, when I think of form, I think of 3D. So anything that's 3D. So it doesn't have to be, it can be something that's 3D, like dance or playing a musical instrument, uh, or it can be something that is actually 3D, um, such as sculpture or pottery. So that's form and um, so for me, but for me, when I think of form, I always think I want you to think 3D. So 3D can be dance. It can be um, it can be um, playing musical instruments. It can be sculpture, or it can be pottery. And another one is value. So value is also one of these other ones that gets a little trickier for the little kids. But so that's when things go from dark to light or light to dark, which we learned is ombre. And so for this one, I'm gonna, if you have a pencil, you can just kind of shade it in from dark to light, from light to dark. I have some oil pastels here. And again, if you don't have oil pastels, you can absolutely use crayons. Um, you can use them, it, you can use whatever you have at home. We're gonna, I'm gonna have different things. I don't have all the things I have in the classroom either. So, and I do, I, I wish I still had my supplies, but. So we're gonna go from a light, kind of a light yellow, to a brighter yellow, to an orange, to deeper orange. So that's value, it's showing 
um, it getting from light to dark. And if you do have oil pastels, what you can do is you can actually, oil pastels mix very well. So if you have, let's say I have a black right here. And then as I add other colors to it, like this gray, you'll see it mixing. And then you can even put this white here and then you'll see it mix as well. And you'll kind of see it progressively getting darker right there. So that's value. So that's value is when things go from dark to light or light to dark, different shades of colors. And another one is texture. Get my marker. So for texture, what I usually do is I try to find something that has texture. So this is burlap, it has texture. You can put it under there and using a crayon. And again, I don't have crayons here, so it's not something that I can really, it's not something that I can personally do, but I'm gonna try to draw some burlap. And again, if you have, um, if you have, crayons at home, if you peel them, then you can kind of rub them on something. Make sure you get your parents' permission before you rub. And again, you're not rubbing it on the item, you're putting the paper on top of the item and then rubbing it. And um, the last one is space. And for that one, I usually just... So that's using space impactfully. Um, so that's similar to uh, if you guys remember doing the cat project where we had the orange background and then we had the the cat um, just taking up just a little bit of space, but then um, but then the rest of it was orange and that was very impactful because um, because of all the space. So the elements of art again are color, shape, line, form, value, texture, and space. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So what I want you to do is I want you to create an elements of art anchor chart kind of like this. Just in an anchor chart is those big pieces of paper that I usually have in the classroom that, that has it and it's usually hanging up to help remind you guys what, um, what the things that we're talking about in art are. But um, you can create a little mini anchor chart and I have a mini one here too because I don't have big paper at home. So you can create, I want you to create an elements of art anchor chart. And then for the, and then um, if you, um, if you would like, you can, add, you can take a picture of it and then you can have mom or dad email it to me or they can send it to me on my Instagram and then I'll post your elements of art anchor chart. If you would like, you don't have to. Um, the second part of your assignment is I want you to do an elements of art scavenger hunt. So I want you to think about color and I want you to find something that has tons of color. So I'm gonna show you, and I personally did this, this scavenger hunt as well and I kinda had to wrap my brain around certain things. So for the first one for color, and again, you can do this in any order for, the, for color. I have some um, jelly beans and jelly beans are always very colorful. So for the first one is color. For the next one, shape. Shape is in a lot of different things, and so you can go and you can find different shapes, like doors are typically rectangle, the doorknob. Um, my doorknob happens to be um, a circle, but that's um, you can go around and you can find shapes. So again, the first three are gonna be the, the easiest that I usually remember. So color, shape, line, and line. Again, line makes up all, all art. So the line that you see here, that makes up art. Um, even here, line. And so these other ones are gonna be a little bit, um, so form, and form when you look around the house would be pretty easy too, because that's anything that's 3D. Um, you can even create your own by doing a dance, by learning a new dance. I think that would be fun. So if you learned a new dance and you perform it, then that's extra points there. So that's form, or if you have clay, you're welcome to make something out of clay form, even with Legos or blocks that you have at home, that's also form. So if you build something to create something that's 3D, that's an excellent example of form. So for value, again, value is uh, different shades of colors, different shades of the same color. So um, going from dark to light or light to dark. So I had to search for that in, 
a piece of clothing, you might find it in a pillow. So this is um, a blue that gets lighter, or if you go this way, it gets darker. So there's that. And texture. For texture, I found some burlap. If your dad has, or your mom or your dad has some uh, sandpaper in the in the garage, sandpaper feels very bumpy. There are different textures. So texture is how something feels. Um, and the last one is space. So space is a little bit tricky because that's that's where you're looking for where space makes an impact. Um, and and you might have to very well find a piece of art or find um, a space. And it's also in design as well. So if you look at your house and you find a certain spot that where it, it has a lot of space and it's impactful because there's everything is kind of, it might be your fireplace where everything is kind of um, um, pointing in the direction of your fireplace and, and there's a lot of space there. Or um, it could be, uh, it could be your dining room table where there's, it, it might be a room that doesn't have a lot of stuff because your the space is what's impactful and again if you have trouble with it it's okay if you want to just create something or if you want to find art if you can if you find a piece of art um then that that would be great too or if you look in a magazine a lot of advertising utilizes space to create that impact or so that you look at that main idea so i hope you're all doing well again your two assignments are i want you to create an elements of art anchor chart again the elements of art are color shape, line, form, value, texture, and space. And I want you to go on an elements of art um, scavenger hunt. If you would like to take pictures of your scavenger hunt and send them to me, I would love to see it. Later on, I will be having other assignments where you're creating art, but I wanted to start off kind of easily so that we can kind of ease back into things. And um, hopefully I'll get to see you soon. I miss you guys. Um, continue to be creative and I'll have other read alouds. Again, if your parents want to send me the pictures, they can either email it to me or they can um, tag me on Instagram and then I will post, I will repost your pictures. Uh, so my Instagram is at Mrs. Bowie Art. So that's um, at M-R-S-B as in boy, U-I-A-R-T. So I look forward to seeing your scavenger hunt. I look forward to seeing um, pictures of your um, pictures of your anchor chart as well.